Hello everyone. Today we are going to present problem based on exposed node which generally comes in transmission time in computer network. Let's start from a scenario. There is an organization where number of users are working. Suppose four users A, B, C and D where A and B in same range, B and C in same range and D comes in the range of D. During the transmission between user B and A, user C finds medium is busy. So C falsely conclude that it cannot sense to other node D. Even transmission can be succeed. This unnecessary wastage of resources will decrease throughput of network. How can we resolve this problem? This is pictorial representation of given scenario where node A, B, C and D are users. Let's discuss some cases to understand our problem before reaching solution. Case 1. There is communication is going between B and A and C wants to communicate to D at the same time. C says that medium is busy. It will defer their transmission. Under this situation, C is exposed node to the ongoing transmission from node B to A. And take case 2. If B wants to communicate to node A, but at the same time, node D, which comes in the range of C, start communication with node C before starting B. In that case, B is ex exposed node. Generally, three-way handshaking mechanism is used in any communication. Here, RTS-CTS is a three-way handshaking mechanism where RTS is request to send and CTS is clear to send. See in this figure. When B wants to communicate, then it will send RTS message to node A and C. Then node A and C get RTS, but C is not interested to communicate with B and C wants to communicate to node D. So C will not send CTS message to node B and A will send CTS message first to node B. So there is a communication between node A and B and C will wait for their chance. In RTS-CTS mechanism, data is transmitted from node C to D, but C and B both cannot send simultaneously. And how much time will take node B and A, we don't know. So think how to resolve this problem and can we use some timer or any control message or any control frame? Let's see in this figure, if we use timer, then what happened? Again B send RTS to both A and C but get CTS first from node A. In that case before starting data sending from B to A, B will send a data frame to node C. C will start a timer when it gets RTS from node B and this timer will stop when it gets data frame that is control frame from node B. This timer is known as NAV that is network allocation vector. NAV is a data structure. Node used to know where channel is clear or not. DS could be used to wait for a short duration. Hence in a case no DS is received then C will not wait and send RTS to node D. What about use only control masses? There is no timer. In that case, when B wants to communicate, it will send RTS to node A and send signal in the form of control message to node C. CTSS is a control message that is clear to send simultaneously. When C gets CTSS message from node B, it will immediately send RTS to node D and communicate with D. Thanks to all.